Today, we're gonna to be checking out the new JJ Jr. by Freeman Amplification and comparing it against the Runt. And so let's get into that. So what Friedman Amps did is they took the JJ, the fire-breathing 100-watt amplifier that we all love, and put it in a 20-watt version using the platform of the Runt. And what I mean by that is it has every single feature the Runt has. So it has the same cabinet simulated out. You can do recording out with this. You can switch it for 16 to 8 ohms. You have an effects loop. You have a clean channel with just one volume control and a three-way switch that lets you switch between three different types of brightness settings. And of course, you have a three band EQ with a presence, a master presence control that operates both channels. And of course, a switch that allows you to switch between two different gain possibilities. On the runt, you have a full mode, which is where the amp sounds full. And then you have, uh, you can kick it down and reduce it a little bit. I think on the manual, they call it a boost, but I believe it's actually not a boost. It's a cut, but it could be wrong. But on the JJ version, we have two different modeled amplifiers. You have the BE, which is your brown eye, and then you have the JBE. And the JBE, the volume drops, which is totally normal. It adds more saturation. It gets fuller, thicker, meaner. <laughs> Both have a PC board system. They are not uh, hand wired like the PT20 or the Pink Taco 20 and the Dirty Shirley Mini, uh, but they that don't don't let that fool you. Um, those that watch the channel know that I've always liked the Runt, but I kind of like having the Pink Taco's higher gain setting, and this does not disappoint. In fact, this is kind of like. If you're like me and you like the Runt and you like the uh, the PT20, but you were hoping to have you know the features of the Runt, but maybe the higher gain structure of the P of the PT20, that's what this is. They did it. They gave you the amp that you're looking for. The biggest thing I want to hit in this video is a couple things that maybe you have questions about that I can hopefully answer. The first thing is, are the cleans identical on the amps? Uh, I think they, they're claiming they're identical, but without a doubt, I feel like the JJ Jr.'s clean channel has a little bit more grit and gain to it and a little bit more mid-range tone to it. It's definitely different. I, I use the same cabinet and same microphone, same placement. <laughs> I think that if you're looking for just a straight up rock and roll amplifier with a good clean, I think the Runt is where you want to be. If you're looking for something with a little bit more, a little bit more growl, a little bit more power, but don't think of it as just high gain. This can clean up and get what the Runt does. I don't think that if you got the, the JJ Jr., would uh, I don't think you'd feel the need to still have the Runt. I think you can get everything that you're getting out of the Runt with the JJ and of course some more stuff. <laughs> Other things the amps have in common is they both have a set of EL84s for power tubes, creating 20 watts. Three 12AX7s for preamp tubes. Both have a foot switch that is included that will switch you from dirty to clean and back and forth. Both have ground loops and both are made in the USA. It's a really impressive amplifier. I'm really happy they decided to do this because I've liked the Runt for so long and I was hoping that they would kind of expand this amplifier. I think it's a great amplifier and I think this is a nice way for it to go. And uh, so I'm, I'm happy that they did this. 
Well, as always, guys, I want to thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And until next time, know your gear. Thank you.